Hello Internet, this is Scott with Scott's Garage standing in my garage. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how I repurposed this pallet into this planter box. Keep watching. Now, now, this video is part of a playlist on my channel called Stay Home Projects, projects that I've accomplished during the pandemic. If you're interested in other projects, see the card here above. Now, at the time of this video, I have about 2,400 subscribers. When we reach 5,000 subscribers, it's time to celebrate with a $50 gift card giveaway. Uh, two things uh, to qualify for this. Uh, hit the like button and leave a comment. That's it. I'll use a random number generator to select a video, and I'll do the same thing to select a comment. You have great odds of winning. Give it a try. Okay, here are the tools I'm going to use to rip this pallet apart. I'm going to use a circular saw. It's a seven and a quarter inch blade. It's a rigid, a really great saw. I'll put a link in the description below if you're interested in a saw like this. And we're going to use a couple of pry bars uh, for the nails, which can be really difficult. And then a hefty pair of pliers. Uh, sometimes the, the heads of the nails uh, break off and the pliers will come in very handy. Okay, so we're going to take the pallet apart. You might think, well, okay, just pry off the, the boards on each side and, you know, and, and, uh, and do it that way. That's not how I'm going to do this. Uh, if you've ever tried to, to pry the nails on pallets, it, they're almost impossible to do without ripping up the boards. Uh, so I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to use the, the circular saw, and I'm just going to um, cut. I'm not, I'm, not care, uh, I'm not caring about making sure it's square. I'm going to cut close to each of these up um, risers, uh, but I'm, I'm going to leave a little bit of overhang, and I'll, I'll show you why here in a minute. So I'm going to rip uh, this side and, and the other side, and we'll go from there. Okay, so I want to use these risers, so you have to uh, pound off the pieces of wood with the nails through them. Most of the nails come off with the wood, which makes it a lot easier. And whatever ones don't come off, then with the pry bar, crowbar, I'll be able to pull the nails. This makes it a whole lot easier. I have an old Craftsman workbench. Works well, clean, big vice, better than a vice. And I put these risers in there and secure it. And I can pull now the nails, a uh, combination of the crowbar, crowbars, the hammer, and then the big pliers. Uh, the head sometimes just crumble when you use the crowbar and you have to use the pliers to, to take care of it. But, it. but it works well. That's really the only way to go. Um, don't try to fight these nails, otherwise they are not meant to come out. Okay, what I'm doing here is just ripping uh, a clean edge on both sides of the, each of these slats. It's a good place to start. Okay, I've set my blade at the greatest angle, which is a 45 degree angle on my table saw. And the adjustment here, the side adjustment there. And I've just barely raised the, the blade. And I'm gonna create on each of these four edges of these boards uh, what is what is called a, a camphor edge. It's just barely going to take it off and then uh, it'll, it'll uh, show itself. Once I square the ends and stuff, you know, with the camphor edge, it'll just be a nice contrast between the old and then, you know, a fresh cut on the wood. That's the look that I'm looking for. Okay, what I'm doing here is squaring up just one side of each of the planks and I'll explain why just one side in just a second. Okay, so the left side here, all those are squared in on the left side. Right side though is, is not square, it's, it's rough. Um, what I'm gonna do now is figure out which is the shortest board, and that will be the size of my planter. So I'm kind of letting the pallet and the cuts that I make uh, determine the, the size of the pallet. I'm not really Measuring, um, I'll make sure they're all the same, but again, the, the shortest board will be it. 
Now I'm going to do a similar thing with these risers, for lack of a better term, uh, the three of them. I'm going to cut a clean edge and make sure the same length and uh, just uh, clean both edges and, and square them up. Okay, the palette is reduced down to this. But I got uh, three clean boards here. And the these are 15 inches, what it ended up being. All the slabs were the same, 15 inches. And a pile of the rest of it there. Um, so we're gonna transform this um, into the planter. What I'm gonna do now is just kind of get the dimensions laid out here. And if I use 16 of these, that'll make one side and then I can use the rest for the, the platform. Just be a little bit left over and let's lay it out. Okay, so I've decided that I'm gonna make the, the legs 18 inches, which is uh, down here. So it'll sit 18, 18 inches off the ground. It's, it's gonna be um, the 15 inches wide. Uh, the legs are actually gonna be on the inside. I'll explain that and the reasoning why here in just a minute. So with the 18 inch legs, I have plenty uh, with the, these three boards to have the four legs. I have a little bit left over. Okay, I've given more thought to these three riser pieces. I don't wanna run out of wood. So I've decided I'm gonna take one of them and I'm gonna rip it from one end uh, to the other. And I'll use that one piece for the four legs. Um, then the other two I'll use for the top. Okay, I've decided to use what are called half lap joints uh, for this raised uh, garden box. And the reason is I just love them. They, they, they look very classy and clean. They're very strong as well. And uh, to make them, uh, you basically uh, find out the thickness of the board. So these are 5 8 inch thick. And then the, the width of the board, which is three and a half inches, and I find the center point, which is an inch and three quarters. Um, so if you can see that, but I've, I've marked that off. And I'm gonna cut this out here and then kitty corner. I'm gonna do that for the 16 boards here. And I'm just gonna use my, my saw to do this. So I'll raise the blade to uh, five eighths and I'll, I'll set the gate. And I'm just gonna put it on, on end and, and, and cut it and then just keep sliding it back and forth and, uh, until the, the wood is, is cut out. Okay, it's time to start putting together the, the planter. And what I'm gonna do is uh, use my, my brad, uh, air brad nailer. And, and these are inch and a half uh, little brads that fit into the gun. And anyway, I'm going to be using some Elmer's wood glue. You can see the, the link in the description below. Uh, likewise with the, the brad gun, it's Harbor Freight. I'll, you can see the, the link in the description below. Um, and anyway, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue and I'm just going to put a, pop a couple of brads. I also have a square to make sure that I used to when I do that a square. And so I'm just going to, you know, I have four levels. So I'll do four separate and then I'll attach them to the legs. Okay, I took one of the risers and ripped it in two. Uh, I then squared off the ends. I cut equal length. So these are now the legs. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these uh, individual layers, put them up here, uh, take one layer at a time. I'm going to build it upside down. I'll use the Internet Brad uh, air nailing gun and I'll start to assemble this. Okay, now to figure out the top, this is what I come up with. So I have, I'm using the remainder of the, the wood. Um, I'm gonna continue with the, the half laps. So I could, I could do a 45 degree angle here, but I'm gonna do a half lap instead. So you can visualize this. I'll notch out half here and half here, and then that'll fit flush. And I'll do the same for the, the back side here and it lines up with the, the legs going down, and that, uh, that should work well. Okay, I just finished with the table saw, and I, I cut the half laps for the, the top there. I'm not gonna secure it yet, uh, but it's gonna look, look nice. Kind of matches the overall style of this. I'm gonna set those aside, and we'll figure out the, the bottom. Now what's left over is this, that's it. Uh, that's plenty for the bottom. 
Now it's, it's quite deep. It's 16 inches from top to bottom. I don't think I need that much depth for, uh, for the soil or if you put a pot in here. Um, I'm thinking 12 inches. So the, with the leftover uh, wood that I have, I'll mark um, a couple pieces with notches you know, for, for the legs and I'll just put the boards across and we'll shoot it from the, the back side um, to hold it in place at about the foot level. Okay, I'm going to use my jigsaw to cut these notches out for the legs. It's a whole lot easier. Okay, things work nicely for the bottom piece. Again, it's, it's upside down right now, uh, but the two notch pieces are there and then the two full pieces and then these side pieces. Uh, basically what I'll do is I will uh, use the air gun and nail gun and uh, attach this to that side, the other one to, to this side, and then the other pieces will go the, this direction uh, in place. I'll, I'll tack those in as well. Okay, the base went in beautifully. Uh, there, there are some spaces there, which I don't mind because you want some drainage going down. I might even drill a couple more holes here. Uh, but this is designed either to place a pot in there uh, or to fill it with dirt. Uh, we'll line it with plastic as well here in, in a minute. Uh, but what I want to do now is, is work on the top, and I've already loosely put it together. Uh, but I'm going to put it on, on top. I am going to glue it and staple it. I'm not going to staple it to this, though. I'm going to use some decking screws to, to attach it. Now, there might be some pots that are already potted that uh, you put in place and you put the top on. There might not be a room if it's permanently attached, so I'll just allow it so I can take it off if need be. Okay, next I'm just block sanding it. 60 grit sandpaper, really rough sandpaper, just by hand. Um, I, I want to have a, a weathered, aged look, uh, but just, uh, just sanding out the, the rough edges. Okay, here's the final product. I just temporarily put a pot of vincas in there. It's too small really for this size planter, but it is possible. Uh, this is going to be a gift for my wife for Mother's Day, and um, we're going to be putting a hibiscus in there. But uh, let me take it out here, and I'll show you what I did with, uh, with the base. So it's just blocked up there. Take the blocks out. But overall, it's about a foot deep. I mentioned before lining it with plastic, and if you put soil in it, line it with plastic, drill some holes in the bottom first. And, but I'll let my wife decide um, if she wants to put dirt in there or simply put uh, the potted plant in there. Uh, if you got any value from this video, please hit like. It cost you nothing. It was a great value to me. Personally, this project was very rewarding to me. Hope you enjoyed it as well. Have a great day.